Hey everybody, it's Jane from Surface Anthology and Chalk Mercantile. How are you? Happy Tuesday. I've got to get my second camera set up here. Oh, what a morning it has been. It's already 3 o'clock. Um, I've had a crazy day with, of course, technical issues. And, oh, I think what I'm going to doing. Let me just get this all on here. All right. Get the phone up there. And there's our little mushroom kit, which we're going to be painting today. So what I was, what I was saying is, um, I think I'm going to be moving everything to surface anthology. Um, chalk mercantile will be no more because there's just such serious issues that I have literally been on the phone for hours today, and I think 2023 is going to be the year that I simplify my life. Let me get a little bit closer, because these are so super cute. All right. So my idea here is, now this is the earthy kit. This is the, these are the earthy colors. And there's also the brights, right? But what I want to do is use my own colors because I have so many little pots of paint. And I know all of you at home <laughs> have tons of paint too. And this is one of those perfect um, projects to use up your paint. But these are so sweet. And what I was thinking um, is using a bunch of blues, kind of blue, greens, turquoise colors, and um, having a white base. So that's my, my idea here. Now, anybody that orders this, you already know I'm including one of my um, artist brushes in the kit. The kit as it is has this little brush, but it's I just think it's too small to try to sit here and paint these mushrooms. So you'll also get an artist brush with that. All right, so let's get painting. I've got a little of my favorite DIY paint, which is called Vintage Linen. I love, love, love this paint. I love the paint, I love this color, it's my fave. And I'm working on a um, piece of wax paper. So if you're painting stuff like this, you could just Put your piece down on the wax paper, let it dry, and it won't stick. All right, let's get the white paint. I think I'm going to use, yeah, we'll use this. This is a large one. And yep, I'm working out of the container. Hey, Susan, good to see you. Aren't they cute? It's my newest little kit in the shop, Susan. I'm so excited about it. So this week we're going to be painting, and then I hope to get to glittering and stuff. Um, Thursday or Friday this this white it's it's like a really really soft gray really if you put it next to white is just my new favorite so I'm gonna paint these and as I told you guys last week if you put a little eye hook at the top these make the cutest Christmas ornaments and you know I love that And DIY, look at that, it just covers in one coat. So already, you can even do it, white bases and then really neutral, soft, taupey tops would look really beautiful. Um, I'm gonna do the underside. The vintage linen like this. I am Susan. Susan's asking if I'm selling them out of my shop. I am. So I haven't brought them down to um, Deep River yet, but I'm going to. Um, but if you go to chalkmercantile.com, that's my online shop, and just put in kit. I, I try to... Um, edit my little comment here you know up at the top it says you can find the products I'm using in my shop 
you can just put in mushroom cat mushrooms or cat um, and you'll find it but there's one you could even you guys you could even stain the top of this that would look really sweet because I think this is maple but how cute is that okay so there's one I don't know if I'm gonna do all of them today this is the little squat one Susan where are you I'm in Connecticut let me tell you it's blustery and gray out today. It's one of those moody days, I call it. And the other thing you guys could do is decoupage the tops of these. How cute would that look? Hey, Shannon. Oh, thank you, Shannon. Thanks for sprinkling. Anybody, if you think... Um, you know anybody who would enjoy this feel free to sprinkle it scatter it about I appreciate that helps me All right, look at how cute. I don't know. I <laughs> um, These are so cute, but I'm loving the white base with a natural wood top That is a really cool look Right? How cute is that? And as I told you guys last week, I'm going to put these just on a windowsill. I can move them around my house. Um, I love this kind of like decor. Oh, you're Susan. You're in Niantic. So you know my shop in Deep River. I was just here the other day and I had a huge box of paint. So I filled in all the DIY paint. I've got a ton of... Um, Miss Mustard Seeds Milk Paint there. So I'm going to be going down again in, an, in a couple of days and carry in some more stuff. And I've got to remember to include these kits because they are, they're, they're super cute. And for the, sh the ones that I put in the shop at Deep River, I will also put the brush, the artist brush, right into the kit. All right, let's do one more. We'll do three today. Look at this one. How fabulous is that? Shannon, how is it out there? on the west coast i've been watching um this new series with jennifer garner and one of the big reasons i'm watching it is it's filmed in marin county and i lived there like her character lives on a um houseboat in sausalito and we lived like two towns two or three towns north in san anselmo but so many, my salon was in Mill Valley. So, so many of my clients were from Sausalito, Tiburon, Ross, all those just beautiful towns in Marin. So, I love watching it. Oh, see, Susan, I know your older shop in Deep River, right? And it's, it's called G's Treasures. It's owned by Greg. So, I used to have a big shop in Old Saybrook. And I don't have that anymore. But yeah, Greg is a riot. And Susan, if you've if you've never been to an auction, his are the auctions to go to. Um, they're amazing. Okay, look at this one. Look at how cute that is, right? So I think what I'm gonna do is just dry these real fast with a blow dryer so that I can paint the tops. Put your brush in water. Let's see if I can get the other thing I'm doing. Oh, is we're putting out my husband built shelves for our kitchen and our pantry so I have up here in my little studio like 500 of these brackets two different style brackets to paint oh and I'm using a really old can of paint that was left over for when we built our house and I just popped the lid the paint is fine, but there's rust, so I've had to kind of really wipe away the edge of the lid. Oh, so you go to visit. Okay, so um, Susan's asking where G's Treasures is. So Susan, it's on Main Street in Deep River. It's right, if you're facing the Red House 
uh, restaurant, which is really good, by the way. It's on the right, and you'll see it. It's like two storefronts. They always have really cool stuff outside. And it is, he's got a ton of vendors in there. There's so much great stuff. I'm the only one that's really selling any kind of DIY products, so you could just ask them where the um, chalk mercantile is, and they will they'll let you know. I just got a larger space this season after harassing them. I was like, Greg, give me a larger space. So I've got a bunch of um, iron orchid in there now, DIY, Miss Mustard Seed, and some other little things thrown in. Oh my goodness, you guys, if you're, it, like, this is very Scandinavian to me, having just, um, isn't it exciting, <laughs> Susan, I know, I don't think I ever want to have a big store again where I had, I think I had over 40 vendors and merchants in my shop in Old Saybrook, it was a lot of work, I loved it, um, but it's nice just to have a little space where I can put my stuff for locals, because Susan, a lot of local people still buy from me so I needed a place where I could have all that but look at how sweet these are with the the raw wood if you get this kit there are three colors you could literally paint the bottoms these three colors and just wax the top or put a very very pale um, stain on the top they would look really sweet how adorable is that but I'm not going to do that with this one. What I think I'm going to start with, I love this color. And as Shannon knows, we were using it in the Surface Anthology membership. Mermaid Tail. So let me open this. If I can get it open. Give it a little tap. This color is gorgeous. This color, I have to say, is amazing. It glows. I love it. Now I'm pouring this out into a little container. Just a touch. I don't need a lot for this. Get into the habit of not working out of your containers of paint. So, especially if they're larger ones, so you don't get any mold in it. Okay. But this color is gorgeous. Which one should I do? Let's do this one. And make sure my hands, of course, are getting paint on them as usual. All right. Oh, I love this color. Let's move these over so I don't drip. Now, when you're working with um, paint on raw wood, it dries really fast. It's just getting absorbed right down into the grain of the wood. And if you're thinking about making Christmas ornaments or any kind of ornament, you know, something you're gonna hang, I would put the um, little eye hook on last so you're not having to paint around it. Oh, how cute is that? And I have to tell you, you know, I'm 59, back in the 70s, right? I, I was born in 63, mushrooms were really in and painted rocks and stuff. And, you know, kind of these really funky mushrooms. And all this stuff takes me right back in a very good way. But look at that, really cute. And here's another technique you can do when you're painting something like this. If you want to keep part of the natural wood, you could tape it off. You can get some washi tape, and I've done this, and you could tape off some of the raw wood, maybe have it go across, really burnish it down so the paint doesn't go underneath, then apply your paint, and you'll have some of that raw wood um, to show. But look at how sweet this is. Oh, that's really cute. Really, really cute. And you know I was thinking about doing a coat of um, milk paint. Oh my gosh, did I milk paint these? Uh, but 
but I think I want them to be kind of bright, kind of simple, so they stand out. Okay, so there's one. How sweet is that? Oh, I love it. And it's already, there it is already drying. All right, put that in some water. And then I think, this is another color I love. It's called Lady Sings the Blues. This is Amy Howard at Home Paint. And this one, I'm just gonna work out because I've just, out of the um, jar, I just have a touch left in here. Give it a stir. It's gotten really thick, but it's a really, really cool color. Are you like me and hate to throw out paint? I'm like, I have just tons of little containers that I don't wanna throw out. Okay, that's good. And let me see if I have another flat brush. Look at that color. This is really beautiful too. And I love these mushrooms because they're turned. They're not flat laser cut. And I just think, I think they would be so sweet hanging from a tree. Where's Shannon? Shannon, how is it out there where you are? Is the weather nice? Is the, are the rains over? Look at that, really sweet. Now this paint, the Amy Howard, is a true chalk paint, but it's got a built-in top coat. And when you're painting around an edge like this, just kind of pull your brush down and you'll get like a nice kind of sharp edge. Looks good. Let that dry. And then we have one more, which I think I'm going to do in sea glass. It's so quiet today. It's three o'clock in the afternoon. It's like siesta time. Give a little tap. See if I can open this. There we go. This is another really beautiful color. Love it, love it. Just need a touch. All right, last one. That's our tall, leggy one. And with this, with the DIY paint, you pretty much only need one Coat. And I'm being generous with the paint because I don't want to have to do two. Aren't they beautiful, Susan? I know. The line has great colors. And Susan, if you go to Deep River, one of the reasons I was down there yesterday is I brought lights. And they said, okay, you have to light your space. So I brought some Ikea little spotlighty things and a timer, right, you have to put it on a timer. Ugh. And I'm working on this, and I'm like, man, this timer is not working. The, the lights aren't going out. Well, it's because the outlet doesn't have any power. <laughs> so, so if you go, Susan, and you see the paints in a dark area, 
feel free to pull out the jars and you can, you know, walk around with them until you can see what the color is. I also am going to put out a little, um, like a little swatch sheet. Oh, look at that. Cute. All right. So one, two, and three. Very, very sweet. And what I'm going to do, and look at the difference between the wet paint and the dry, right? You see that big, big difference. Um, this one, not so much. It's just going to remain a dark blue. But what I'm going to do now, put them down so you can see, is let these dry. And then I'm going to be back. I'm going to paint all of them. And I'm going to do some, some kind of decorative painting on them. And I definitely think I'm going to add glitter because, you know, why not, right? I can just, with these, just put on some Elmer's glue. That's what I use for glittering, and I use German glass glitter. Some Elmer's glue and dip them in the snow glass glitter so that you could see the um, the color underneath. <laughs> Susan, I love that. I'll bring my flashlight. You're gonna need to bring your flashlight. It's hilarious. Um, yes, and uh, you'll, you'll definitely be able to see all the iron orchid because I have it all on a wall. But yeah, the color is, it's in a little bit of a cave. Oh, Shannon's riding in the car with your daughter. Oh no, you're getting car sick. Oh, and it's nice. That's great. Where are you guys going? I hope it's someplace fun. Um, Shannon. Oh, good. My, my, my internet looks like it's good. So, you guys, this is it. Really sweet. I'm going to continue with the last. There's six of them that come in the kit. So, I'm going to paint these the same way with the vintage linen um, stems and underneath. And then do um, some blues on top. I could even mix these colors up to create something new and then I'm going to be back on um, either Thursday or Friday we'll see how my painting of the shelves goes and I'm going to um, do some glittering and you could also do gold leaf would be would be absolutely stunning with these so that's it you guys Susan and Shannon thank you so much for joining me today anybody who's interested in the kits just go to chalkmercantile.com. You could put in mushroom kit. The tab you'll see at the top of my site says workshops and kits, and you can click on that. But it's really, really sweet. And as I said before, I'm including my own um, brand new artist brush in there because I just think that the one that's included is a little bit tiny. It might be good for doing detailed painting if you want to do that. But um, I think you need something bigger. You're going to get frustrated. You are so welcome, Susan. You guys have a great afternoon. I hope you find some time to do something fun and or creative, right? 